Alright, response video of sorts, I think, to Pyro. Really irritating little phantasmagorical uh, girly man video he just did about his falling in the river, which really wasn't about falling in the river. Um, so anyway, it's just this... Uh, uh, I don't even know, this, this crap, this, this useless crap that people spout, like you don't know life till you ran with the bulls, or until you've climbed Mount Everest, you don't know what it is to be alive. You know, until you fucked a 500-pound woman, you don't know what life is. You know, until you got herpes, AIDS, and hepatitis C, you don't know how fucking cool it is to face the real life. You know, until you've whatever, you know, just, just pick something. And these assholes say, this is what life is. This is what gives life meaning, is swimming with the fishes down the rapids. And, like, they are the only ones that have any insight into stupid, reckless, idiotic behavior, right? Like, they're the, the only ones who lived a, a life where they've done things that were fun, but stupid. And, uh, yeah, but we can't take the fun out of life. The, you know, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go trick-or-treating at Jeffrey Dahmer's house. Yeah, you don't know life till you ran that little gauntlet of fun. <laughs> yeah, which cupcake has the sleeping pills in it? Um, I mean, fuck you and this, this phantasmagorical pussy shit and, and, you know, disguising it again as if this is something to do with something that people should be really doing as intelligences and trying to convey information to each other is let's metaphor it with something I personally like, like being in really cold water swimming down rapids towards rocks. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, just whatever. I remember I had a recurring dream. You know, I heard a story about some kids who got killed, and they actually got caught below a dam in the eddy water, right? And so their bodies just got, like, beaten to skeletons, essentially, you know, in the rapids. And I thought of, you know, and I just, I, I reoccur, I had a reoccurring dream where I was in that, this 10 feet of water at the bottom of a dam like that, just caught in this spiraling rapids. And my, I think my brain did a pretty good job of, of creating the environment. Um, and it was rather intense and interesting and all that bullshit, but that's all it was, was intense and interesting. And we have a ton of intense and interesting things that happen every fucking day. And uh, this is just, again, this is just bullshit. It's just bullshit. This is not a conversation about reality. Call it something else. Call it, let's all talk about, you know, Alice in Wonderland fantasy worlds, and let's talk about um, behaviors that we've done in our past that, yeah, we probably wouldn't do today because, damn, that water's cold, and fuck, I don't know what I was thinking then. Um, you know, I mean, really, I mean, I could talk about, you could talk about drug experiences, right? A lot of people, and you'd say, you wouldn't want kids to do that again. You wouldn't want them to get caught in all that shit. You wouldn't want them sniffing that crap. I mean, I can give examples of that kind of shit. I can give examples of, you know, I used to like riding motorcycles. And, yeah, I, sometimes you, you went a little, uh, you know, but, yeah, speed and power and all that stuff. Fun, fun, fun. So somebody can do their little Corvette fucking stories. And, and what's the fucking point of it? Right? Is this what life is? Life is actually having to get into a river and swim in it to, to, to understand it? To, to, you people have such a lack of fucking imagination that you actually have to go into the river or that you actually have to be at the river in your safety vest? He was sort of mocking this idea that, yeah, people would go down a river and they, they would actually, you know, um, just taste it. You know, just, just go f afloat across it. So there's probably lots of analogies. Like, yeah, you go in an airplane and you expect there to be air conditioning. And, you know, there's a nice good window and all of this stuff. And you somehow don't want to go in one of those fucking wobbly paper things that fall, you know, go head first into the ground a lot. And so, yeah, you're just a silly flyer. Um, you, you know, because you're safe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, because you're taking it for what it is, recognizing it for what it is. So he's metaphoring it like you're just the, you're the universe being a river. You're some, it's just Professor Anton babbly bullshit. Um, but anyway, it's Mrs. Snarkyism that just really pissed me off here too. Yes, a lot of literalists. 
how, how about, uh, I'd rather be called a get realist. Will you actually call me by my real name? Do I have to officially, if I legally change my fucking name to get realist, all right, could I be called a get realist? Um, because that's what this is about. It's about what the fucking reality is. Not what you, you phantasmagorical ballet slipper dreaming, skippity dippity popscotch playing bullshitters want to make life into. No, it's about what the fucking reality is. Seven billion people, chaos for fucking infrastructure, a bunch of assholes trying to steal each other's fucking diapers. I mean, it's just a pile of fucking goddamn shit, and you little wissy bullshitters just keep saying, well, go just stand in the piss and imagine the piss is the fucking river, and swim in the piss river. I mean, it, yeah, make do. You, you turn the, 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 the pig's ass into the pig's face and then put lipstick on its face and then get it to five or six hundred pounds and then love it because it's a five hundred pound pig woman. Fuck you. Um, stick their big toes in the Herculean river of life one time. Their toe gets wet and they pull their toes out of the rushing river and begin to tell us all what life is really about. Versus what? Versus a bunch of phantasmagorical pussies um, extracting all reality from reality so they can tell us little Alice in Wonderland dancing card stopwatchy rabbity stories about complete nonsense that have absolutely nothing. Sisyphus stubbing his stupid rock up a fucking sucker's stupid hill. Who the fuck gives a fuck about fucking synthesis, his stupid pointless effort at shoving a rock up a fucking stupid hill for fucking no stupid reason? Again, this is just such bullshit. Fuck you people. I agree. Yes, of course you agree, because you're all liars. You all can't face the fucking truth. You talk about how heroic you are and stoic you are. Look, we face the rapids naturally. Let me see you face life. Let me see you account for what life costs. Let me see you uh, recite the names of the one million people who commit suicide, or recite the names of the millions of people who will die for a lack of 58 fucking cents this year. There will be a million people who will die for a lack of 58 fucking cents. Now account for the 58 cents. How many times have you taken 58 cents and wasted it on bullshit? And now account for that fucker. Have the balls to do that. Have the balls to say, I don't really give a fuck about the welfare of anybody but my fucking self because I'm a human fucking cunt animal. Have the balls to admit you're a piece of fucking shit, that all this logic crap is just some fucking crap you use to stir up your own ego fucking ambitions, and that the only reason why you think life is cool is because it's the only way you can get from here to the goddamn cupcake, and that's goddamn it. And don't you tell me that you know what life is. Fuck you. Satisfactory. Oh, addendum. Uh, yeah, I did want to, I'll post this on YouTube. What the fuck? Um, and uh, I'm using a different camera, which I probably shouldn't do. But any, it's all beat up shit. I'm going to use this as a water camera, so I wanted to test it because it's disposable. Uh, <laughs> Conference report and me have been having a reasonable conversation, sort of interesting, kind of, maybe, possibly. So I'll post the link to maybe the first video, and then you just follow, you know, we're doing the response video thing on the You Doubled site. And I've just been posting the videos on You Doubled, so they are kind of obscure. So I'm just pointing out that, yes, I still make videos on Vlogger Dome, and I still make videos on that, and occasionally on You Doubled, and that's the only place they are, so you have to go there to see them. And they're really not bad videos, some of them, so. What else do I need to say? Uh, how inspired I am. Well, I'll take care of that on Blogger Head. Heads. No, no, not there. Blogger Dome. It has the word vlogger in it. People don't get that. Vlogger. That means you're actually supposed to be talking and making an argument that's unique. Yeah. And if you're going to post other people's content or post YouTube videos, then you probably should make a contribution video giving that content context. And that would make it somehow meaningful and valuable. Hmm. That's sort of the point. Anyway, people suck. I, <laughs> yeah, I disapprove of that video. I unrecommend it. That's what, somebody made a video about something. It might have been Puro. And he was talking about people and online and, you know, what people 
uh, you know, the bullshit that goes on. But that said, that's how I, I, I used to be called unrecommended. <laughs> that sort of became my nickname because, uh, um, you know, they wouldn't ban or kick people, but they would unrecommend you. <laughs> yeah, so I got unrecommended a lot. Uh, it's funny. Uh, it's funny in the ironic, not funny way, just like flowing down the 50 deg 57 degree river rapid water, uh, you know, at blinding speed. And I mean blinding, when you can't see shit. Um, doesn't sound like a hell of a lot of, you know, doesn't sound like, oh yeah, <laughs> here's my 50 cents, I want to go on that ride. No, I'll go on the warm bath with, uh, <laughs> you know, even a rubber woman is, you know, really, a blow-up Mickey, Mi Minnie Mouse. Yeah, the warm bath with a blow-up Minnie Mouse sounds like more fun than your fucking goddamn fish river. Um, you go swim with the fishes, fuckhead. I can imagine better things to do with my time. 